Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna go over this humongous haul of stuff I got at the World Congress of Dermatology. So this past week I was in Singapore for the World Congress of Dermatology and there is a humongous expo hall, like an exhibit hall, where all the brands, pharmaceutical companies, lasers, devices, all those companies convene at the Congress and they set up booths. And it's just really interesting because you get to see a lot of the world's leading companies all in one place and they all have samples. And so you can go around, learn about the products, the devices, ask for samples. And I was lucky enough to walk away with a full tote bag of stuff. And some of it is available in the US, some of it is only available overseas, like Dr. Wu from China or specific sunscreen filters that are only available abroad. So I'm gonna go over all of these. We're gonna do a little unboxing and go over some of my favorites. Let's start off with the Vichy products. So I actually was invited to go to the World Congress of Dermatology with Vichy. So I created some content with them, but when I got to my hotel room, they had left me this really nice gift bag. Also, as a disclaimer, Vichy did sponsor my trip to World Congress of Dermatology, as well as a few TikTok and Instagram videos, but this YouTube video is not sponsored and I'm just talking about these products and giving you my own opinions. So one of the products they talked about at length at the Congress is this one, the Vichy Lift Active B3 Serum. This was really interesting to me because they actually did a study comparing usage of this serum for dark spots against the gold standard for dark spots, which is hydroquinone 4%. And they found that you get similar efficacy between this serum and the hydroquinone 4%, but with less redness from this serum. I thought that was really cool data. I am a scientist, I'm a physician, and so I always like to look at the data before I present things to you, my community, because I wanna make sure it's well-researched and scientifically sound. So the ingredients in this one are on Honestly, some of my favorite ingredients to target hyperpigmentation. So this has 5% niacinamide, and niacinamide, as we know, is an acne fighter. It's also an antioxidant. It also has glycolic acid, which is an alpha hydroxy acid helping to exfoliate. That helps with pigment and hyperpigmentation in a different way by lifting off those dead skin cells. It also contains tranexamic acid, and topical tranexamic acid is a really great ingredient for melasma specifically. We actually also use oral tranexamic acid to treat stubborn cases of melasma as well. So this really is a powerhouse of ingredients for hyperpigmentation. And some of these pictures that they showed at the meeting are really quite astounding. Those before after pictures are really convincing. And so this one is one that I'm going to keep in my bathroom on rotation for my pigment. And I'm definitely going to be gifting it to my friends and relatives who have stubborn pigment as well. I also got this one in the Vichy goodie bag and you know I love Love testing sunscreens. This one is the Vichy Capital Soleil UV Age Daily. It's SPF 50 PA++++. And I was just looking up the filters in this. It's a combination of US available filters and also not. So this one has Tinosorb S, Octosalate, Avobenzone, Juvenal T150, and Mexerol XL, which is a very photostable lipid soluble filter that I really like. And this one also contains some extra goodies. So it has the typical Vichy volcanic water that is a staple in their line, 2% niacinamide, 4% peptide complex, and 1% vitamin E or tocopherol. But what I like the most about it is its unique and very lightweight fluid texture. So this applies more like a, like a lightweight serum. So I'll try to show it on my hand. Woo! kind of runs. So it's like, ah, it's almost like a liquid. It rubs in really, really easily. It's not like a gel cream the way most Korean sunscreens are, but this one's more like a very light, non-tinted fluid. It's very liquidy, but it rubs in very easily. And I could see this being really great for summertime when it's kind of hot and humid out and you don't want to be applying anything too heavy or occlusive on the skin. This feels really, really light and it rubs in super easily. So I'm definitely definitely gonna be taking this with me on trips and it comes in this handy dandy travel size. Also in this bag is the Vichy Mineral 89 and I've been using this since 2017 or 2018 when I was first introduced to the brand. And this is just a really nice serum. It's a hyaluronic acid based serum that I use to layer under moisturizer or as my moisturizer during the day, during the summer when it's pretty hot out and I'm kind of sweaty. This one contains 89% of the Vichy volcanic water which has 15 essential minerals. So that's kind of like 
the hallmark, the trademark of the Vichy brand is that volcanic water with all these minerals, which can help your skin. And then this one has pure hyaluronic acid as well. So I would say serum is not always a necessary step in your skincare routine, but if you're feeling a little dry or if you don't wanna use a full-on moisturizer, you can use a serum like this, something very light, easily absorbing to replace your moisturizer as well. I'm not gonna go over every single product in my Vichy bag because there's a lot, but I did wanna quickly highlight their Durkos Anti-Dandruff DS Shampoo because this one has two ingredients. It's really rare to find a dandruff shampoo that contains multiple actives targeting different roots of the problem, but also doesn't affect the quality, stiffness, and texture of your hair. So this one contains selenium disulfide, which is anti-yeast, and then it also has salicylic acid, which is an exfoliant. So you're kind of targeting different causes of dandruff. You're targeting the yeast that worsens sebum production and inflammation, and then you also have that salicylic acid, which will lift and help get rid of those dead skin flakes. This one also contains vitamin E, an antioxidant to help with some of that inflammation as well. This definitely has more of like an herbal scent compared to other dandruff shampoos that have more of like a luxurious fragrant floral scent. Fragrance is very personal, it's up to you. I don't mind it, but everyone has a different idea of what fragrances they like. Okay, another product that I was really excited to get my hands on and try because I haven't tried it before is from Dr. Wu. So Dr. Wu is a really, really popular popular brand that was founded in Taiwan. And I'm Taiwanese American, so I was like, I have to try this. Mandelic acid is something I've actually never talked about before or reviewed, but mandelic acid is a type of alpha hydroxy acid. Mandelic acid is derived from bitter almonds, and it actually has a larger particle size than its cousins, like other types of alpha hydroxy acids. And because of its larger particle size, it takes longer to absorb. So mandelic acid is usually the AHA, the acid of choice for people with really sensitive skin and this is also very safe to use in skin of color because it's not as strong and there's less likely a risk of hyperpigmentation or irritation or causing some type of sensitive reaction. This is an 18% mandelic acid which is quite high in my opinion and I do have sensitive rosacea prone skin so I'm going to be trying this very carefully as in I'm going to do a spot test first on just one little part of my face and see what happens before I go ahead and apply it to the rest of my face. So this is is pretty concentrated. This is almost like an at-home chemical peel, honestly, for yourself. And you would not want to do this on the same night as your retinol or your retinoid because that would just be way too much exfoliating and sensitivity for your skin and in particular my skin. So I'm really excited to try this and let you guys know this is meant to help with skin cell turnover, get rid of those dead skin cells, help to lift pigment, help to unclog pores, like all that good stuff. So I'm definitely going to try it and I'll let you guys know after a couple weeks. Another product I got in my goodie bag is one that I talked about last week. I already raved about it, so I'm not gonna talk about it in too much detail today, but this is the La Roche-Posay Aunt Helios UV Immune 400. And this has that incredibly special filter, the Mexeril 400, which is the only filter that's patented to block long range UVA rays higher than 380 nanometers, all the way up to 400 nanometers. I really like this one because I bought the tinted version in France last year and it turned me pasty orange like an Oompa Loompa. I could not use it at all, but this non-tinted one, oh my gosh, it rubs in like a dream. It, this one's more of a gel, and so it also contains some oil absorbing properties, so it's just perfect for this hot, humid weather. And as you can see, it absorbs so quickly, no white cast, obviously, and it's just a really elegant sunscreen, and I wanna buy 20 more of these. I also got this one in my goodie bag, the La Roche-Posay Cicaplast Balm. I've been using this for a while at home. I like using it on my hands after washing my hands frequently, and this is a holy grail, I think, for a reason. So it contains maticasicide, which can help repair the skin barrier. It also has panthenol, which helps to hydrate and moisturize the skin. And this also has an ingredient called tribioma. And tribioma is a blend of plant extracts, sugars, that help to rebalance the microbiome of your skin. And the reason why everyone loves this is because it is a rich cream that doesn't leave your skin sticky and it can really help repair your skin barrier. So you put some on, looks like this. 
and I'll just put it on my arm here. It really feels deeply, deeply hydrating. Like I mentioned, I like using this as a hand cream, especially after washing my hands. I just keep it right next to my sink because my hands get so dry with repetitive washing and it just really deeply moisturizes. And because it can help repair the skin barrier, this is also a great choice for when you go overboard with your retinoid or your acids and you give yourself a burn and then you need to repair your skin barrier, this is a great time to try this on your face to help protect and repair your skin barrier after you've inflicted some damage. Okay, in contrast to the Sick of Plast B5 Balm is this one that I got that I haven't gotten before, haven't used it before. It was told to me that this is a great alternative or a great competitor to the La Roche-Posay Sick of Plast B5 Balm. This is from Bioderma. It's called Atoderm Doctor's Range Moisturizer. And this is supposed to be an ultra soothing balm that helps repair your skin barrier. And it's especially good for atopic eczema prone skin. So it's really interesting. This product holds several patents on its technology for how it helps repair eczema skin. The first one is the skin barrier therapy patent, which decreases adhesion of bacteria to the skin because we know that in eczema, you can get a lot of bacterial infections from all the cracks in your skin. It also has this lipidgenium technology, which helps to restore the balance of lipids and proteins in your skin barrier that doesn't function normally in eczema prone skin. Lastly, they also hold a DAF patent, which makes your skin more resilient to external environmental aggressors. So it's really interesting to me. I wanna dive a little more into the science behind this product. When I was talking to the CEO for North America for this line for Naos, he told me that he's been using this on his daughter who has eczema for six years and that it really has been an amazing moisturizer for her. My son also struggles with eczema, runs in the family. I am going to go home and try this on him. I actually really want to try this right now to see real quick how it feels compared to the cycloplast on this arm and put some on my hand here. Ooh, okay. So here's how it comes out. Ooh, nice. Just comparing the two, this one feels even more intense, thick, and rich compared to the Cicoplast B5 Balm. So I see why this would be good for those with really, really dry skin or eczema prone skin. I wouldn't be able to use this as my run of the mill hand cream because I think it's a little too rich. It'll leave my hands a little sticky and I wouldn't be able to go around and touch other things. But this is really, really moisturizing and I can definitely see how this can help repair the skin barrier and eczema. So I'm gonna go home, like I mentioned, and test this on my son who has eczema all over. And I'm gonna let you guys know what I think, but I'm very, intrigued by the science behind this product and impressed with how it applies. The last product I'm going to talk about is also from Bioderma and it is their micellar water. And actually I've been seeing this all over social media, but I've never used it myself. I learned at the conference that Bioderma actually was the one who invented and patented this technology of micellar water. And they held the patent for 20 years, I think. After the patent expired, then other brands started coming out with micellar water, but that they are the original. They also did a little demonstration for me at the booth where you don't even have to rub just the action of the micellar molecules alone is enough to help dissolve and remove your makeup. I will say when he did that demonstration, I did still see a tiny bit of lipstick left on my hand to be totally honest. However, it did almost take away all of it. So I'm not gonna just leave a cotton pad on my face to remove makeup. I'm going to gently kind of move it around and use a little bit of physical force. So I don't foresee that being an issue, but I am really excited to try this. I've seen multiple dermatologists talk about how this is a great gentle alternative to using makeup wipes. And right now I use makeup balm Balms. Like right now I've been using the Versed cleansing balm or the Naturium purple ginseng cleansing balm, but I do sometimes get grossed out when I am smearing all of this fatty rich balm all over my face and seeing my makeup all over. So I'm curious to try this micellar water and I think it'll be a much nicer alternative. We'll see. Maybe I'll use both. We'll see. So thank you so much for watching this video today. I got a lot of awesome goodies at the World Congress of Dermatology and a lot of new products, new brands to explore and try. I'm excited excited to share with you how all of these ingredients and products work after I've tested them for some time. As usual, please leave any questions or comments below. Don't forget to subscribe. We have tons more content coming out for you soon. Until next time.